Okay, real quick, before we get into the bag I wanna talk about today, I just wanna let you know that my destination line, Wander to Your Lost Hoodies, the brand that I started, are available now. I'll link the website below if you wanna go pick up one of these hoodies, that would be great. Support my small business and all that good jazz that comes along with that, but also they're just really dope and good looking hoodies. So if you're looking for a gift this uh, holiday season for people that like to adventure or go on hikes or whatever, pick up one of these. Also, with that being said, next week I'll be doing my personal gift guide video of bags, products, clothing, accessories, all that good stuff of what I think you should be getting for those people in your life that like those kind of items. So that'll be the next video. But in the meantime, go check out these hoodies and let's talk about this awesome bag, shall we? This is the Ramverk 21 liter from DB Journeys, otherwise known as douche bags. And I gotta say, they sent me two bags to review, so I'm gonna spread them out a little bit. But this one I've been using for my EDC work bag because a lot of times I take like my laptop and a bunch of work gear and little work accessories with me to and from the office, depending on if I'm working from home or if I'm transitioning or whatever. And I gotta say that this bag, honestly, on the whole, just right off the start, is really, really perfect for those people that need something to transport work gear or just someone that's looking for a good EDC or someone that's looking for a carry-on bag to complement their travel bag. This definitely would not work as a standalone minimal travel bag at 21 liters, but if you are looking for a good carry-on bag to carry a big bulking load of stuff that has kind of like a slim, as you see, this is more of a tall bag than it is a wide bag. This is perfect for like an extra carry-on item or if you're just checking a bag or if you're taking a lot of stuff, maybe you're, maybe you're bringing like a 42 liter one bag travel bag and you also got like someone going with you and you, know, you need like an extra carry-on or whatever. This is an all around really solid average across the board bag that I think does a really good job of hitting all those like important ticks when it comes to like organization, maximum capacity in the main compartment, laptop sleeve, the comfort factor, and the look. I do have to say off the top, I really like the way this bag looks and it comes with a lot of cool features that we're gonna get into. Okay, as always, quickly gonna hit on the specs of this bag. Like I mentioned, 21 liter capacity has a price tag of 219 US dollar. The materials on this bag are a 500D reach PVC tarpaulin and the lining is a polyester 200D. Really, really solid materials on this bag. I gotta say that I like the way it feels. I like the blend of the tarpaulin and this like kind of, I don't even know what you'd call this, but it's it's got like almost like a leathery feel to it. It's got really solid materials is what I'm getting at. Also, it's got some really good hardware, nice metal buckles. But first thing I wanna hit on when it comes to this bag, because I know I talk about like the uses and all the cool things about it, but let's be honest, the thing that you really care about when, when it comes to bag reviews, and this is how I was, you wanna know what goes in it, what the pockets look like, and how comfortable it is. And honestly, that's really all you need when it comes to making a decision about a bag. As long as you find the bag good looking, if you like the pockets and you think it's comfortable or someone says it's comfortable that you trust, boom, that's all you need. So let's get into that now. The first thing on this bag is here at the front, they have these buckles that are really easy to disconnect. They do not disconnect all the way, so they are stuck, they are sewn in, but these work really well for carrying any larger items on the outside of your bag. Yoga mats, you know, if you wanted to take this bag hiking or something, maybe taking a tent, a sleeping bag, uh, tripods on the outside, jacket, things like that. Another thing that this bag does really well, and one of the things that it's meant to, is DB Journeys has another bag that this bag easily connects to with the way that these Fidlock like little G hooks are, because here on the back of the bag, up towards the top of the straps, are two more of those that disconnect from the straps. They're not load lifters or anything. They're just kind of there as a placement, more of an aesthetic period, uh, appearance or anything, but I, I definitely, I dig that aesthetic experience or aesthetic look that this has, but these can actually disconnect and then they're used to connect onto another bag. So you can actually hook this and carry it with you. The bag that it connects to that DB Journey sells is like a roller bag. So if you had another bag that has any kind of molly or any kind of hook attachments, you could realistically hook this bag on there and have it like, um, like almost, what is that called? Not rushing, rushing nesting doll, but like bag sandwich. Kinda, it's like a bag bagel, almost. I don't know if that's the right terminology, or uh, not terminology, uh, example. But yeah, but I like the front because it doesn't obscure any zippers. A lot of times you'll see these kind of things, like a zipper that runs down 
between it and like to get into it, you have to like undo this and then zip. Very minimal compartments on the outside of this bag. Actually, so minimal. There's only two and one of them's for your laptop. Again, when it comes to the organization on this bag, most of it's gonna be on this front flap on the inside, but for an EDC or work bag, it really does come in handy. On the back, you have the straps. Like I already kind of mentioned, they have these hooks at the top as well. Great for aesthetic. One handle on this bag, just one little guy here at the top. And that's it. That's the only thing you have to grab onto this bag. Another bummer about this bag is no water bottle pocket. For me, I didn't find that to be too much of an issue. Again, using it as a work bag, because most of the time I'm carrying my water bottle in or I just put it on the inside of the bag and it worked fine. But anybody that's looking to do this as like a daily carry or something and you want a water bottle pocket, unfortunately, this bag does not offer one. But on the back, besides just having one point to grab onto, these straps, a little thin, but extremely comfortable. Again, due to the size of this bag, I don't foresee anybody really being able to pack it out super duper heavy to the point where these straps would become uncomfortable. If you use it as a, on the lighter side, medium to lightweight EDC or work bagger or any of the other, things that we've discussed or you might want to use it for. I think it works really well and it stays pretty comfortable. The back channel is very simple and basic as well. I didn't find it getting sweaty. Not the best time to really test that given the fact it's like 30 degrees where I'm at and I only really sweat when I'm carrying a bag really unless I'm hiking during the summer. So overall the back panel and the straps were comfortable. I cannot hit on the sweat factor but your mileage will always vary depending on how much you sweat or how like physical your activities are when you're wearing the bag. But overall a very solid and comfortable harness system for roughly up to maybe like, I don't know, an hour. I think after an hour, if I was carrying this bag around, packed out at about medium weight, I would start to feel it dig into my shoulders a little bit. But again, all depends on how you use the bag. Okay, so the laptop compartment is here, side access only. So you have this ability to get into it. Nothing on the main compartment links to the laptop. So it's completely separate, a little off the bottom of the bag. I'm able to put, this is a 15 inch ThinkPad. This is my uh, work laptop. I'm trying really hard to cover up my work company name because I don't want anyone to know where I work. Um, I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro and a 13 inch MacBook Air. Both fit in here fine. Like I said, that's a 15 inch fits in here fine. It will fit up to a 16 inch MacBook Pro. And I think you could even squeeze a 17 inch of a little bit larger, thinner computer if you needed to, but a really solid laptop compartment. I like the fact that it's up against the back of your bag. It makes this back panel a little bit more rigid, which I think is phenomenal. Not to mention the fact that it does have a really solid padding all the way around this tarpaulin material. It's phenomenal. I'm a big fan of tarpaulin material on bags, depending on what the aesthetic is. Another good example of that is the Wandered bags. I love the tarpaulin on their bags. This feels very reminiscent, very similar to that, which I really like. Plenty of padding and very well protected for your laptop. The only other thing you have is this compartment here at the top. Now up here, this unzips and what you end up getting is a nice little pocket here to throw stuff and a zipper compartment right here that you can put other small items. For me personally, what I was putting in here is my work phone that I have to take with me when I go into the office and then quick access to my AirPod Pros. You could fit all kinds of stuff in here. In the, on their, uh, on their website, they show like little hard drives and like gloves and things like that. A lot of the stuff that DB Journey has, like the next bag I'm gonna talk about are more adventurous bags, more out there active bags, which I'm really excited to show you the one I got. I think it's really nice, like almost like a bullet style little bag for like hiking and stuff like that. But when it comes to this main compartment or top compartment up here, I think it's great for like just little quick items, phone, maybe like AirPod Pros, wallet keys, things like that. And the fact that you have this little zippered guy up here with a key clip means that you can kind of keep something like your keys that are a little bit more scratchy separate if you wanted to like maybe throw your sunglasses in here or maybe throw your sunglasses up here and keep them safe from anything that might damage them in there. But a really solid top access. I like that with this top access compartment, this is something that I kind of want to see more in other bags. Depend Again, it all kind of depends on the bag, but instead of just having like a zipper where you like put your hand in and it's flat, this opens up and it has dimension to it. So if you didn't want to use this compartment and you wanted to pack out the main compartment a little bit more, you wouldn't have to. You can actually see in here that this right here is something that I have in the main compartment. It did eat up a little bit of the dimension on that. So I do like that. Now it just kind of depends on what you're putting in the main compartment. And if you actually want to utilize this, you just need to be careful because that main compartment dimension, it's all connected. Everything you see really on this bag is the main compartment. This has like a little pocket, but it eats up dimension of the main compartment. So just kind of keep that in mind. So this thing opens, 
boom, drop it down. You got your main compartment organization right here. What I'm carrying with me is a lightweight, lighter weight jacket right now, depending on the season. I will, this is my airloft. I'll link everything in here down below that I think is important. Some of these are like notebooks you get from Walmart and stuff, but I'll link all the like the cool accessories. This is the airloft shirt jacket. I also will bring with me sometimes like my regular airloft 2.0 jacket that fits in here. You know what else fits in here? One or two year lost hoodie, just a little, no, 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 a little plug, shameless plug, I don't care. Anyways, nice to put a jacket in here. And then all I really carry with me, this is a, like a little extra cable pouch, for like extra pins, uh, adapters, dongles, things like that, that I might need while I'm working. Then I have my next stand, just depending on where I'm going. If I'm going into meetings, if I'm not at my desk and I can't dock my laptop, I like to have this to next, make it nice and elevated. What comes with that is a bigger, Keyboard, I take this keyboard with me everywhere and I'm a big fan of, it's a Logitech basic like $20 keyboard kit with a little mouse from Walmart. The reason I don't have the mouse in here is uh, because I forgot to put it in here, but it would normally be in here. I actually left it at work. You're gonna see how that goes. But, um, and then like I said, this is that top compartment. You can see that dimension you can easily be pushed out of the way or you can fill it out. And there's space behind it. And what you saw when I was tapping on is actually this keyboard right here, which was up against it and just kind of kind of just barely ate into that dimension a little bit. So this is the main compartment, that's it. I like this. If you're a minimal traveler and you need like a weekend bag, you could easily fit the Peak Design packing cube in here and then like a small pouch, maybe like a mix, like the gravel mini toiletry kit in there like that. And then you could spread out your tech gear. You wouldn't be able to really fit a pouch in here for your tech gear, but you could fit it out. So this would work as like a weekender type bag, if I'm being completely honest with you. What you have for organization comes on this side of the bag though. This is your front panel and you have three spots, small, medium, slightly larger than the medium. And here at the top, what I like to put in here is my, this is a final straw. It's just like a reusable metal straw that I like to carry with me strictly because I don't like to use, I, I just like to always have a straw because sometimes, sometimes I go through the drive through and I'll get like coffee. I like iced coffee all times of the year or, you know, quick bite to eat or whatever. And like, I don't know why, but like people never give me a straw. I don't know if it's just me, it's just my face. Are they just like not for them? But I always like to carry one with me uh, in case people are petty and don't give me straws and also save the turtles. Uh, below that is where I keep extra two notebooks. One is just like a little mole notebook for film notes. If I get any idea if I'm at work that I, for a video or something I wanna create or whatever, I like to write it down and then I'll revisit this when I'm home and like flush it out a little bit more. And then my work notes that I carry with me everywhere is my Wayfinder notes that I like to have. It says, let's go, um, but it's really nice. I like to carry this around with me when I'm at work. This is how I take notes in meetings and, and whatnot. And then below that is my actual tech case. So I usually use, I have two tech cases. One, I have three tech cases. I have four tech cases. I have one that's for travel. I have one that's for work. I have one for mobile filmmaking and one for regular photography filmmaking. Uh, this is my work one. This is the moment one. I did a whole video on a bunch of pouches, including this one. It's just a very small little guy in here. Uh, extra hard drive, extra cables, extra chargers, extra little, uh, adapter into the wall, just extra stuff that I might need while I'm at work. I found this pouch to be phenomenal. This is my favorite mini pouch. I might end up having to do an updated video on pouches and make, instead of doing like a bunch of pouches that I don't use, I might scale it back to like my favorite pouches. If you actually would be interested in seeing what my favorite pouches, toiletry and tech combined look like, cause it wouldn't be very many. It's probably about six. But let me know. It's my go-to. Cause a lot of the ones in that pouch video that I, I mentioned, I never use. Maybe because they're not very good, maybe because they're not my style, maybe just because I fell in love with these and maybe you'll fall in love with these. But I'll link this one below too because this one is super solid if you want to just bring a couple cables and like a hard drive and stuff. And that is it. That is, that's it. I don't carry a lot for work. So that's part of the reason that this is probably not super packed out. But I like that because again, with EDC or minimal travel, or even if you wanted to take this thing on an adventure, which if you're thinking about it, I would, I would ask you to wait until you see the actual adventure bag from them because you're like, wow, that looks good. I want it. Well, trust me, if you're looking for something for adventure, the other one from DB Journeys is super solid. I got to admit, I'm really happy uh, that they reached out. I should have said this at the top, but they reached out. They sent these to me. Um, I will link them below. Not a kickback. I don't get anything for it. A lot of the times when I do videos and somebody sends me a product for free, I don't have an affiliate link. I don't like to use them. I want you guys to know that this is my honest opinion. 
that I'm not being paid, I'm not being bribed, there's nothing in it for me. I get the bag and I get to test it out and I get to share that with you, that's all I need, right? If you if you, if you wanna support the channel, uh, buy a hoodie or, or support me on Patreon or just send me an email and say, hey, thanks. Uh, but yeah, really, honestly, that's kind of it with this. Uh, YKK zippers, not weather guard, I didn't mention that. Anything else I mentioned? I forgot to mention? Uh, logo branding, just a minimal DB that I didn't even really notice the first time because you can't even see it. So DB on the buckles too for, you know, for douchebags, but they go by DB journeys as well. So, because you can't be around being like, douchebags, <laughs> douchebags, look at the douchebags. Because people might get offended and you don't want that, so. But with all that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this bag, let me know down below. I'll do my best to answer those for you. You can also hit me up on email or Instagram at odmatthewsbags at gmail.com or at od underscore Matthews. I'll put both those up here if you wanna reach out on either one. Uh, thank you guys again for all the love and support. If you want to like, subscribe, all that good nonsense. And other than that, 